Hey guys, I'm Avran and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is about a very newly released platform called Langsmith, which is kind of released from the Langchain's creators and the teams. And it's very powerful and I just came across this and I was so impressed by it. Why I was impressed? Because when we are using Langchain, there are few cons of Langchain which you would like to improve, which you would like to monitor. And that's where Langsmith can be very useful for us. So it helps the developers for debugging, the testing, evaluating, and also monitoring all our LLM powered web applications or applications which we build regularly using Langchains. And we have built a lot of them in this channel. So we have built it together. And I'm sure you guys remember that. So this Langsmith just came out on July 18, just one day or two days back. Oh, almost trending uh, over Product Hunt. What it is all about, that's something which uh, we will see in today's uh, video. We will have a quick overview and we'll also try to integrate Langsmith in one of our web applications which you have already built or maybe two of the web applications which you have already built using Langchain. Langsmith documentation, uh, if you go through that, you will see what Langsmith helps us with. As I mentioned before, Langsmith is there to empower Langchain. And we at times get unexpected end results. We don't know how the agents are looping through it or why the agents are looping. Also, the latency, the at times the chain, this all this large language model change, all this agent executor chain can be slow. Where this latency lies, that's something very neat uh, for us to monitor so that, you know, we can overcome that. We can otherwise just make that step redundant and try something else, which I know in a lot of my comments that came across is the cost or the number of tokens that is used up because whole lang chain is an abstraction. That's why we don't know what is going on under the hood. These are the few drawbacks which Langchain has and for that we need to monitor. We need to know as a developer what is happening under the hood. Langsmith is at this moment at its uh, closed beta stage. So basically you need to be in the wait list and you can get access to it once you try to register through it. It's all out there. For me, I got an access and that's why today I'm making this video. So I was lucky enough to get this access. I just signed in. in. This is how it looks. There are projects, there are data sets. So we can also play with different data sets and there is a project out here. What I will do is I will start with a new project. Okay, just let's say I start with some new project. Uh, click it here and one of the projects which we will try out today with one of the web apps which we have already built uh, with Langchain is sequential chain. How we can use a very simple sequential chain. I also have a blog post on it and a video on it. We'll just try this app just to use Langsmith with it. So we just name it as a sequence and we submit this and I think this will create so it will create a new project. Now, if I go to the project, the fifth project, which is called a sequential uh, chain, which we just created now. And if you see out here, there are a few things which is very crucial. So in order to use uh, Langsmith with Python, we need to use uh, this few lines of code. So basically, this is all the configured environment which we need to connect with Langsmith. So it has this tracing. Langchain tracing because we'll monitor all the tracings. Uh, it has its Langchain uh, endpoint. Then it is, has its Langchain API key. So all these things are very useful for us. We need that. And the Langchain project. The Langchain project is already out here. So all these steps we need to copy, but we also need to create this API key, right? This is very useful. How we can create an API key like this? We just click here. We create an API key. And this is our uh, API key, the new API key, which you could, I just keep a copy of it. That's all, that's from here, okay? We will use it in one of our web application, right? And also, let's have a quick look how we can use it. You can see it out here, from Langchain chat models, import chat open AI, and we can just run a chat open AI, which it's a very straightforward example. You can do that, but we'll use it in one of our own sequential model, and we'll see how we can do that. So that's one of the things which we will do. This is how the setup is. And we, once we run all this thing, there will be traces. That's what we need to monitor, how the chains are running, right? And also the, all the runs that is happening. Now we don't see any runs or any traces out here. So now let's go back to our app, which we have already built before. So this is my uh, data buttons uh, app, which I've already built, right? Uh, I will just I have already added few lines of code out here, but I will just further add it to it. So, so what I will do is I'll just first paste the API key which we just generated in our project uh, 
file you know new project actually we created this I just pasted it there and uh, most of the stuffs are very similar if I just quickly go back here you see this particular stuff it's very similar and we have this lang chain project which is called a sequential chain I'll just copy this as well and I will just paste it here so now instead of uh, writing export lang chain tracing in our data button app or in, in your streamlit app what I am doing instead is I am importing this OS module this one and I'm just writing os.environment because these are all the environment keys that's what we need and I'm just writing os.environment and I just passing it as a variable inside and we just uh, assigning it how as it is mentioned here it's very straightforward also we need to install langchain which is already been there because we are running this app already without uh, even uh, having any any traces or anything because this was working we have a video about it and apart from that all other codes as we did before okay it's very straightforward so I think we are ready with our setup already out here we have the open AI key which is already stored everything is out there so now let me go back to the app okay so I'll just reload the app now and I will just run this particular prompt so this is basically a sequential chain if I just quickly uh, show you here it's a series of sequential chain which we are running so basically there is an assumption chain, there are prompt template, assumption chain, a sequential chain, all this will run one after other. This I'm not going through, please uh, look at my previous video, out here we want to see what happens, right? So we're trying to understand what is true out here, Cyanobacteria can perform photosynthesis, are they considered as plants or not? So we'll run this one, okay? So let's see how it works, so we just say tell me about it. I hope it has already started here you see all these chains will run the sequential chains will be running out here one after other and how to build this you need to refer the video before which I've already mentioned but let's go to the project which is very important so as you can see already our project is running this is how the traces are already coming up it's so cool look all these steps I'll just minimize myself a bit here. So you see all these traces in this particular project is coming up, okay? And you see the trace, it's it's yet to be updated one after other. So it's running now, this of them is already run. And this is the latency period, how much time it has taken. That's very crucial, okay? So the main time which has been taken out here is around this 5.13 seconds. That's the latency out here. The tokens, which is also very important. I can open it further, we'll see a nice nodal like uh, uh, run tree okay you see how much it is taken uh, each and every it's 5.1 so that's the maximum it has taken out here and also you have to also notice the metadata which it's running about the response time is written out here the start and the end all these details all this monitoring you can do and if you don't like any particular chain or you see in your uh, production level uh, LLM application there can be some steps which is uh, taking a lot of time you can easily remove them or monitor them the tokens the cost you can monitor each and every of them that's powerful this particular langsmith helps us to monitor right and even the answers the output is out here already so this is where we connected our app with langsmith with just very few lines of code basically on the top of the app we are just adding these few lines right very straightforward that was one of the example which I was just speaking about. Another example which we did beforehand was a personal PDF chatbot. Basically, you upload your own PDF files, you can chat with it and there is a memory on it as well. We have discussed this another video as well. So what I will do right now is uh, we can use uh, the same sequential project or we can just create a new project. So I'll just go back here, okay? I'll just go back to the project. I'll just create a new project out here and I will say uh, per or less most of the endpoints will be very similar as we did before and we'll be using the same uh, API key which we generated so we don't need to worry much uh, the only thing which I'll copy from here is this particular uh, new naming because when I tried the project name was very different so I'll just go back to this code same code as we wrote before the only thing which I will change out here is uh, the project name and also I think the API key which we need to change I'll just go to the previous 
so I updated with the new API key okay that's all otherwise everything is similar in this code which we have discussed before in the blog post or in the videos as well so next part is about trying this particular app right I'll run the whole app again and I will just go back here I will actually uh, upload with the PDF file so I'm uploading a, a PDF file which is my media kit of the YouTube channel and it's indexing automatically and now we can ask any question to it. So let's ask uh, the, so basically we're talking to a PDF file, right? Chat with the PDF file, that's what we created before and let's see. So let's say the total number of subscribers is 3,900, makes sense. So please subscribe to my channel so that I can, I can gain more subscribers. That would be very useful for me. I really I would be very grateful for that. But we must not forget we are trying to monitor this each and every step this embedding and everything so let's go back to this place okay and we go to our all runs and if you see now all these steps which we used in this particular uh, chatbot starting from the retrieval uh, Q&A and also the chains which you have used out here and the agents which you have used the zero shot agent the agent executor all these steps can be monitored out here see the retriever has been used here if you can also go to the traces out here if you see there's the agent executor which has the answer to it and it takes a time of 4.03 seconds so the maximum time is taken by the agent exit that's where in consumption is or the latency period lies uh, we can actually try with something else and change that completely that's how we monitor our uh, llm power application we can also see the other parts such as what are the other chains at the retrieval q a it takes very small amount compared to this 4.03 uh, time consumption uh, it takes only 0 0.1.03 seconds so we see the main time is actually used uh, by this agent executor which is 4.03 that's how we are monitoring so many things at a single time of our different LM projects we saw with simple sequential shell chain we see total number of tokens that has been used we saw with the personal PDF chatbot the total number of uh, tokens that has been used is much more higher that was one of the questions which I always got the number of tokens we can estimate the price of our particular uh, chatbot so this is where I feel Langspith is very powerful. We are monitoring the usage of our Langchain powered web apps and I think it's at the very prime stage. It just got released a few days back but it will be super powerful as it goes on uh, development. It is already, it has, you can do a lot of stuff, you can do the debugging, you can also uh, check your prompts, you can check the exact sequence of the events as we saw in the traces and you can also see the latency periods, how many tokens you use. By the way, you can also share this particular uh, uh, particular output if you just go to this change. I think after you can share it, just go to the share, you just copy it and this is your publicly available uh, traces or the stats which you can share with your collaborators and easily like you know have a nice discussion about it that's what also it supports us right it's a collection of examples you can also do testing and evaluation on your data set all such stuffs are very well supported by Langsmith and I think it's a really powerful platform to monitor the Lang chain uh, use cases and the Lang chain powered web application. I hope this quick review about Langsmith's uh, platform on its very quick release uh, would be useful and I think you guys would be encouraged to use more of Langsmith and monitor all the Lang chain based web which you, we have built together and I hope it will be useful for all of you. So if you guys like this video, please let me know. I'm happy to make more videos about it. Just write down in the comment section below and I will be really happy to receive your feedbacks and your comments in the comment section. Until then, cheers.